there have been a lot of criticism coming from the northern people to the minister of power many believe that if this is to be happening to the southwestern part of the country the president wouldn't sit quietly but many nigerians always make it look like a region or a religion kind of a thing thank god we're having a muslim muslim ticket and it's a thing of the southwest and the north that are in power and this whole drama is also playing in that region and the religion now the question here is this what is the way forward from all this madness but then the minister of power is already making it known that the Bola Metinibu administration have been lying to Nigerians that the insecurity that they claim to have defeated within the last one year in office is not true and he said the TCN, uh, you know the the, the 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 fall of the grid is not the reason why there is no light in the northern region let's take a listen the bandits are also threatening the contractors that we sent to fix it which is why we sought help of the nsa and the other security agencies so with due respect to city senator the northern blackout was not due to technical grid collapse. It was vandalization. And we have explored alternative routes of supply power, which is the Bakodibauchi route, which was also vandalized anyway, but that one is easier to fix. And we are saying within the next two to three days, there will be lights restored to the north. I haven't seen that. What do you make of this? These are the people that said they are governing Nigeria. But are they really governing Nigerians as Nigerians? Or they are just there doing what they feel like to do you know, for themselves, the elite, and then Nigerians now become the slave to them, the political elite. Because I don't think this is a religion or a regional issue, just like I said earlier, but this is a Nigerian issue. If those who call themselves the political class, who are being voted into power, cannot treat Nigerians right, then what do you expect? And this will now be taking me to our next video where I will be talking about the House of Rep member whom has the power to disappear people. And it is now becoming, uh, it, it is now something that we all need to be asking question because many people have been missing within FCT and Nigeria and nobody knows their whereabouts. And he said, I will make you disappear. Tell out of you and I will lie you down, lock you in my, in, in, in my generator house. How dare you? Why should you do that? Who the hell do you, do you know who you're talking to? Do you know where you are? Because you saw me sitting outside here. It doesn't matter, sir. Pay me, let me go. I Look at this monkey. I don't care what I am. Are you, wait, are you even looking at me that you can, you can? Okay. How dare you? Tell Please. them, my name is Honorable Alex Ikweche. I'm a member of the House of Reps. Tell them, I slapped you. Okay. Call the Inspector General of Police. Call, call him, let him come. Okay, sir. Record me very well. Record me very well. All right. That's nice. You came to my house to disrespect me. I, eh? I didn't disrespect you. I said, pay me my money and let me leave. A Nigerian's call out. But then what happened? You know, I will bring in that in our next video of his apology as well as the reactions coming from the National Assembly uh, Speaker of the House. I mean, the Deputy Speaker. Kanu. The details of all these stories will be coming up in the next video. But however, this is a very big problem. That our leaders don't really care about the people, but just about themselves. What do you make of this? Let me have your take at the comment section. Thank you for watching.